Now, as a little bit of a recap to an earlier healing and retouching tool that we looked at, we're going to, uh, if I just pan along here, we're going to remove some of the tourists from the beach. So if you wanted to go for, you know, a shot that looks like it's kind of empty, then um, we can remove some of the stuff from this image, uh, particularly things like um, on the beach, you know, people take tents down and these big garish windbreakers and things like that. So they're a bit of an eyesore. We want to get rid of them. So we've got this document really set up to work. So we can just carry on working in our retouching work layer here that I've called clone work. And then I'm going to go and zoom in a little bit closer. So if I, you notice I keep going back to the zoom tool to zoom in and out. Now, if you can, you can go to preferences and then you can go to tools. Instead of having to pick up the zoom tool, you can actually turn on the checkbox in here to use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. That works really well. And then click OK. So now I can use my scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out, even if I don't have the zoom tool active. So the main areas that I want to remove are people from the beach, essentially. So zoom in nice and close, switch to my spot healing brush tool. You can reach that by tapping the J key. Do make sure that you've picked the right tool from that pop out list in there. Um, the options should be the same as what they were earlier in the exercises. So uh, the mode is set to normal, content aware, and then sample all layers. That is critical. Those two things in there are critical for using this tool successfully in this scenario. Um, and then from here, well, hover your cursor over some people, click and hold down the mouse and drag across them and they'll disappear like so. So I will let you take the next few minutes just to remove the tourists from the beach. If the blemish is bigger than your brush size, just drag around as I'm doing here. You might find that if you make your brush size a little bit bigger, which you can do by dragging this slider here to make it bigger, or you can just hover your cursor over the image and adjacent to the P key on the keyboard, there are two bracket keys. The right square bracket key makes the brush bigger every time you tap it or the left square bracket key makes it smaller. So it might be that you can just left click and remove people like so, rather than having to drag. So you can vary the size of your brush tip. Now I'm going to speed up this video so you'd have to watch me going on and on about this, but um, have a go and see how we get on. Let's remove the tourists. Now, when it comes to elements like this, try and imagine that Photoshop is dealing with this as two different textures. There is a rock texture that runs along here and there is a sand texture that runs underneath. Try and stick to one texture at a time. So got my spot healing brush tool active. If I just make it smaller, I'm just going to run over the region where I imagine there will be rocks behind those tents and then let go and then run over the portion that's got the sand in it. And you'll tend to find you get a reasonable result. Try not to run over both sections at the same time. It will tend to smudge details and that's not what we want. Um, and so from here, well, we've made the beach a lot more idyllic. So there we go. Again, that was going with um, the spot healing brush tool in combination with the clone stamp tool earlier to remove those elements from the beach in a separate layer. I'll go to file and then choose save and then I'll close this document down.